Paul, uh, take us through the match. Uh, pretty tight first quarter. Yeah, it was. Uh, we were expecting a battle right from the start. You know, I think this Rangers team, you know, they're full of youth, full of enthusiasm, and um, you know, they, they come out and they play so hard and with such confidence and freedom that um, you know they're gonna. You know, whether they beat teams or not, I think every night they're going to put up a fight and uh, you're going to have to work for your wins against them. Some outstanding players for them, for you. Do you think Carl uh, Carl Buck? Yeah, he's a talented player, you know, and he spent the summer training with the New Zealand Breakers, which is obviously a positive environment to be around. Um, you know, we were fortunate enough to, for him to pick up a couple of early fouls, which lessened his um, effectiveness on the game. But uh, I thought was that the plan? Well, yes and no, you know. Well, we realise he's a tough and talented player, so you know if you can go at those guys and make them work on the defensive end, um, you know more often than not you can end up with fouls on them or at least making them having to work for it. How are you feeling at half time? I was feeling good. You know we finished the second quarter off quite well, um, which was key. We had a couple of breakout layups and a couple of um, big plays there to finish off, which sort of gave us a little bit of momentum. But the pleasing thing for me was how we started the third quarter, come out and we got four stops in a row at the defensive end and. Um, you know, I keep telling the guys, for us to be a very good team, we're going to have to be great defensively. And I thought in the first half, we were just a little bit patchy and average. And, um, and, and Waitakere did a good job. They put pressure on the rim. They run and they, you know, they get to the rim and they force you to foul. And um, So you have to be really clued in and locked in as a team and as a group. So, uh, But I was you know, really happy with the way we started. Um, you know, that starting group got us off to a good start in that third quarter, and that was the game from then. Yeah, I think Dan came in and Dan Peck came in and did a great job. He came in and knocked down a couple of threes. and. You know, we're going to need these guys. Obviously, we've got some good talent with, uh, you know, the starting group that we have, but we're going to need Dan Pick to come in. We're going to need Paratini McLeod to come in, Gareth Dawson and James Paranatai. We're going to need those guys to come in and play with confidence and freedom, and I thought they did a really good job tonight. And you held off bringing in Wheeler as well. Yeah, I did. You know, I think Wheeler's he's one of the hardest working guys we've got, but obviously he's playing behind two of the, the best guards in the competition with Luke Martin and Kevin Braswell, and I think Luke Martin's only going to get better. Um, you know, he's just a, a talented, talented guy, and I just love the way he plays. I love the way he gets his teammates involved, and um, you know, with a little bit more match time under his belt, I think he's going to get more effective. Great to have that crowd behind you this time, rather than last time you were here. Unbelievable crowd! It was awesome. It was so loud. You know, my voice is hoarse already after one game, so I'm a bit out of practice in terms of yelling and speaking over noise. But um, the, the crowd was amazing. Um, you know, you've, you hear so many stories about the Southland support and and what it can do for you and your team. And I thought they really. They fed off the energy and intensity from, from the team in that third quarter especially, um, and vice versa. You know, the guys really felt the, uh, the atmosphere and everything building in the gym, and, you know, they, they ride us home. So, you know, I don't know what sort of number we got tonight, but if we can build on that and even pack this place out, maybe get a few uh, non-slick nets on the velodrome uh, service over there, we, you know, get a few more people in here, it'll be great. Carl, uh, your first year in the league here, tell us a bit about your history in the States. Um, I played college in the States, uh, played at Virginia Tech, then I transferred to a D2 school, came out here, played for Waitakere Rangers. What, what do you think of the setup? Oh, it's, it's pretty good. Like, I like the um, competitiveness. I like the way, like, it's pretty good. <laughs> when did you join the side? Um, I've been here for a year, and then um, the coach pretty much picked me up and told me he wanted me to play with him, so here I am. It looked pretty even for the first half, and then they just pulled away. Yeah, I mean, we're still a young team. Like, we really didn't, like, that third quarter, we kind of, like, collapsed. They went on a 10-0 run, and, you know, they kept just kept building the lead, and we couldn't rec recover. What, what was said at halftime? Oh, nothing. We were, um, you know, pretty good with our efforts. Like, we were happy that we were, you know, still in the game, but we just tried not to let the lead grow too much because, you know, they are a really good team. Especially, you know, they got Kevin Braswell, Luke Martin, a lot of guys playing in the um, Australian League, so that was... The Rangers have got a, high, uh, a great heritage in the competition, not yeah. since the mid-90s, though. What, are the, what do you think the outcome should be this season? What are you aiming for? I'm um, aiming for just try to get better as a team. Like, I know we're young and we really don't have a lot of height, and probably, like, besides three of our players, really don't have anybody else that really played in the league. So it's going to be just a try to keep our heads up and when it gets time like when it gets um tough so just keep playing honestly i think we go going every game we got a chance to win it's just what we got to like if we do what we have to need to do to play to win so. and nuggets on sunday night that's a big game yeah yeah they um from what i heard they beat southland um <laughs> in the warm-ups yeah but I, hey they heard they beat them by pretty good so we'll see heard they got um benny um benny jr down there and hayden allen and a couple other guys that's pretty good so 
we see. It's quite a short season here. What are your plans at the end of this season? Um, pretty much go home and uh, play summer league back in the States and most likely come back out here and play again. First game, were you, did you expect that from the Rangers to come out that hard? Yeah, definitely. We knew they were going to run in transition, but then, you know, what, you see it on film, but then when you get there live, I mean, they're that much quicker and, you know, it took us a half to finally figure it out, you know, kind of get our defense set and came out that second half and did what we needed to do to definitely kind of push this game out of reach. Is that what you were doing, working them out that first half? Yeah, exactly. We had to. We just kind of got to get a feel from, you know, because you can watch film as much as you want, but until you kind of get there, run with them, see them live, and then, you, you know, you get a feel for them more. In your own game, how do you feel, your fitness? Uh, fitness feels great, just uh, trying to get the explosiveness back from a couple injuries, but yeah, we'll be, we'll be ready for uh, Sunday. Are you you're carrying an injury now? Or? Uh, just a little ankle injury, but no, no, nothing that we're going to worry about. Stick it in the ice bucket and we're ready to go. How do you feel about the setup? Uh, it's been great. Yeah, no, it's been, uh, you know, love the organization, love the team. You know, guys, we got great guys. Guys come off the bench, we're doing a great job. So, you know, it's going to be a fun season. Any sides you're particularly targeting this year? Who do you, who have you seen and who do you think are contenders? Uh, I mean, right now everyone's kind of talking about it's all open. You know, uh, a couple, you know, pledgers gone from the league. Uh, a couple guys are gone from the league that have, you know, kind of held it down for the last couple of years. So, you know, really it's just wide open for, you know, teams to come in and kind of show their dominance. Dan, how do you feel about your role in the, in the side this season? Um, I'm excited about my role this year. You know, we, we've got a, a bit more depth this year. We've got some strong guards with Lukey and KB starting. So uh, I'm excited just to come in and give them a spell, keep the energy levels up, and uh, pick my shots where I can and you know, bring, some, bring some energy. You'd, you'd be really, really happy with your own performance uh, coming on uh, a few minutes plus, the minutes on court, plus that long range shooting. Yeah, I was happy. Um, you know, sitting on the bench, I could see a couple of spots where maybe I might be able to get a few looks when I got on the court. And I just had to shoot it with confidence. Uh, yeah, Kate, Kevin does a great job of finding people as well. So you, at times you just got to pick your spots on the court and he will find you for shots. You just got to finish it. Big game on Sunday. That'll be the focus now. And then the Saints the following weekend. Yeah, quick transition. We got to go straight into focusing on Hawks Bay. They're a tough team. They'll be a playoff contender. So, uh, yeah, we, we really want to come out and focus hard on that and, and uh, have a good show on it. Any special preparation for them or same as? Well, um, you know, Paul was obviously there last year, so he knows <laughs> a few <laughs> bit things. Of inside, yeah. But, uh, you know, we really, we really want to come out and have a good one for Paul especially because uh, it's his old team. We're really thankful that he, was to come, he could come down here with us. So um, I'm sure Paul will have us prepared come Sunday. First half we were doing really well. Uh, second half we came in uh, too slow, giving uh, middle penetration up too much. So uh, they just gave baskets on us. The defense is terrible. You've uh, been in the league for a while? Yeah, three years now. Played with the Pirates last year, got our championship, and my first year was with Manu with two Jets. Great to see Auckland with a side in the competition. Oh yeah, definitely. Auckland needs a side in the competition. It's the biggest city in New Zealand, so you've got to be in the league. Yeah, take us through the game. It was quite a good start, and then they pulled ahead a wee bit second half. Yeah, Braswell came down, hit a couple threes, a couple jumpers on us, really killed us. Uh, like I said, the defense was terrible in the second half. We couldn't, we couldn't stop anything. And again, we couldn't score. But it's certainly something to build on. Oh, definitely, definitely. That's the first game of the season. We're young, we got no imports, we, got, we all get voluntary, we don't get paid, so we're here to put, have fun, you know? So, pretty good. And uh, the Nuggets on Sunday night, what plans for them? Uh, well, we haven't seen them play yet, but we're just going to go play hard and try and beat them. And your warm up matches, did you have warm up matches and yeah. how did you go? Yeah, we had uh, five games against uh, Wellington, Hawks Bay. Palmy, Taranaki and Waikato. And we good, won one game. Oh, two games. A good chance to check out the competition. Who do you think the danger sides are? Uh, well, I saw Nelson play. I thought Nelson was quite good. Uh, Hawks Bay were good and, and Wellington. And the final score against the Rangers, 93-74. to 74. The Sharks, however, could not follow up their excellent start to the season, going down to the Hawks 89-56 on Sunday. Early days, but no surprise to see the Saints, Giants, Jets and Hawks in the top five. The Zero Fee Sharks' next match is against the Mighty Saints at the ILT Velodrome Sunday, tip-off at 1pm.